Prime Anchor, an Amazon warehouse town dreams of a better life. Campbellsville, Kentucky. In the late 1990s, this central Kentucky town suffered a jolt when its fruit of the loom textile plant closed. Thousands of jobs making underwear went to Central America, taking the community's pride with them. Unemployment hit 28% before an unlikely savior arrived as the century was ending, a madly ambitious startup that let people buy books, movies and music through their computers. Amazon leased a fruit of the loom warehouse about a mile from the factory and converted it to a fulfillment center to speed its packages to Indianapolis and Nashville, Tennessee, and Columbus, Ohio. Its workers, many of them fruit veterans, earn less than what the textile work had paid, but the digital excitement was overwhelming. Twenty years later, Amazon is one of the world's most highly valued companies and one of the most influential. Jeff Bezos, Amazon's founder, has accumulated a vast fortune. In Seattle, Amazon built a $4 billion urban campus, redefining a swath of the city. The outcome has been different in Campbellsville, the only sizable community in Taylor County. The county population has stalled at 25,000. Median household income has barely kept pace with inflation. Nearly one in five people in the county lives in poverty, more than in 2000. The divergent fates offer a window into what towns can give to tech behemoths over decades, and what they get in return. Campbellsville's warehouse was among the first of what are now an estimated 477 Amazon fulfillment centers, delivery stations and other outposts around the country. That makes Campbellsville, with 11,415 inhabitants, a case study for what may happen elsewhere as Amazon continues expanding. Amazon has had a really good business here for 20 years, Mayor Brenda Allen said. We're glad they're here, but, she added, I really would feel better if they would contribute to our needs. In central Kentucky, Amazon has reaped benefits, including a type of tax break that critics label paying taxes to the boss. In the arrangement, 5% of Amazon workers' paychecks, ordinarily destined for the county and the state, went to Amazon itself. The company netted millions from this incentive over a decade. Although that tax break has run out, Campbellsville itself still gets no tax money from Amazon. The warehouse is just outside the town limits. The city school system, which is its own taxing authority, does get revenue from Amazon. Both the city and county school systems recently raised their tax rates because of revenue shortfalls. The city increase had to be rescinded for procedural reasons. No one wants Amazon to leave. Though, it is Campbellsville's largest private employer. Its online mall has given the town's shoppers access to a paradise of goods. Less visibly, Amazon shapes the local economy, including which for more on this story, visit the news article link.